welcome back to my channel. My name is David. Today's video is going to be something to just celebrate my two year anniversary. And last year on my one year anniversary, what I did was a looking back video, which was basically just going back to see, you know, my first video, which was trash and my second video, which was trash. And then the 10 videos after that was trash. So basically you get the point. I just went back and I just checked out my evolution of where my videos were. I mean, even if you go back a year from now, you guys can see that it is completely different than where I started a year ago to where I am today. Uh, quality wise and my skills of editing, you know, if that's what you want to call it. Some people would say it's not a skill. Uh, but yeah, I figured instead of me doing the same thing, I really wanted to do something a little bit different. I know a lot of people do that and that's why I did it because I thought it was an interesting topic to do on your anniversary. And since my anniversary uh, is May 13th, two years doing YouTube, a lot's happened. A lot of things have happened. I did a lot of different types of videos of you know the evolution of my channel I, I don't want people to think that my recent content means I'm moving away from the DIY I just been trying a few different things just to get picked up by the algorithm things that I want to do that if I had a separate channel besides my DIY channel I would definitely put that on my other channel you know what I mean but that's that's what I'm saying like the DIY channel it would be all strictly DIY because I only have one channel I, I'd rather just focus on that one right now but that's that's what I would do if starting the second channel for my life which would just be basically a vlog channel where I would just do things with my family myself you know just talking and checking out stuff you know what I mean so like I would move all my unboxings to that channel I didn't want to do the same thing I did last year I want to do something different I figured I would read to you guys all the comments that I've gotten that I can remember and the ones that I've gone through uh, I spent probably two and a half days going through all of my videos if you guys don't know some of my new subscribers and some of my older subscribers probably still don't know but I actually have 180 videos on my channel 179 I've been posting a lot and I've been trying to be as consistent as possible you know I, I did go two weeks without posting because my daughters were born my twins besides that you know I would be at 181 or 182 or something like that by now um, most of my videos are pre-edited and I usually schedule them just just kind of pretty much appreciate just take my mind out of out of this game for a little for a couple weeks while my babies were born also there was a couple of videos uh, about a month ago when my dad died that was really like completely on a different level who I am and what I believe in but I, I also wanted to share that with you guys to see that I do try to promote um, happiness I do try to promote loving life and I tried I try to also promote it but live it you know you know practice what you preach kind of thing i really didn't i didn't see that coming and there's also things in life you cannot control so with this video based on the topic of the of the video you guys have seen i'm going to be reading my top 10 comments i don't get thousands and hundreds and thousands of views like other youtubers do so my comments aren't very spectacular but i will say the ones that i picked out and there's a few of them that i blocked that i couldn't find but i had to go through some of my emails because when you get comments on youtube it shoots to my email so i know even if i block that person through the comments i still have the the leftover email that youtube sent me so i can actually go back and read those emails so I had to go back through a lot of emails to do this uh, some of the, the mean ones <laughs> There was, one, there was one video that I got a comment that somebody wrote, why don't you die already? I mean, obviously I blocked him, but I know I had it. I don't know if maybe I deleted it. Let's start with the first one. Like I said, there's nothing juicy going on here. So please, if you're looking for juiciness, I'm sorry. Maybe someday when I get into hundreds of thousands of views, I'll have some interesting stuff to read out. So anyway, let's get started. This one here is from my video setting up a server box for my enclosure for my 3D printer. Somebody wrote, your true calling is carpentry. Now, I'm not going to deny that i love doing carpentry i love my diy stuff uh, I, I love building things my favorite thing to do out of everything modification i love buying something and modifying it you know what i mean i love creating stuff but modification is just something i love doing. so the next one that i got these are coming from the newer ones down this one comes from my nursery part two video somebody wrote i wouldn't be able to do that if i tried i mean i, I don't know it's nothing nothing was was very hard in that video but so that was one of the most recent ones I got. also this one's coming from my coffee video my first coffee video if you guys go back to the beginning of my channel there was a coffee video the only reason why I did that is because I I went through my coffee 2 video someone left a comment there and so I decided let's go back to my coffee one video and see if there's any comments there 
And there was a comment that I completely forgot about. Someone wrote, your voice. I'm gonna assume that that was probably a negative comment. I blocked him anyways, or blocked her anyways. I, it's most likely a guy. But yeah, I mean, I, I assume it's because my voice is annoying. Probably because I'm not super manly. No, I don't talk like this. Or adjust my vocal cords so I can talk deeper. Maybe because I just let it out the way, the way God gave it to uh. me. Moving on to coffee video part two, which is a recent video. If you guys seen the video with me and my daughter trying the gas station coffee, that video right there, somebody commented it was such a nice, I mean, it made me feel really good that somebody actually noticed the effort I put into that video. That video took me like 10 hours, nine hours to edit. Somebody wrote, you're a funny dude. I don't know who it was. It was, it's still, the, the comment's still there because that was a nice comment. I mean, that's good that somebody thinks that. Sometimes I wonder if it's just my imagination. Sometimes I feel like I'm hitting my head against a brick wall, a cinder block wall. Brick walls will break. The cinder block will not break. Uh, that's how I feel sometimes. So it's good that somebody actually thought that. Man, that made me feel good. It didn't make me feel good to the point where it went to my head and I started thinking that I was the funniest person on YouTube. No, you definitely don't want that to happen. Once your head gets swollen, you're pretty much a downhill slide from there you, you're not gonna you can't think straight you can't focus you know what I mean so like it basically your mind gets overwhelmed you know like I've seen a lot of people get promoted come from like really nice people all of a sudden it's like you don't know them anymore their head gets so swollen they think they know everything you know and 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 they usually don't it, it's just it, it's very sad to see somebody go down that slope I mean it's I've seen I've seen a couple of people change a lot after you know a uh, a promotion so basically when somebody says something good to you and you, you kind of take it a little too seriously it kind of affects you. when I did my reaction video of my one year a lot of you guys know that um, I do a lot of advertising. I advertise my videos on Google Ads so I can get more subscribers because basically if you don't advertise, nobody's gonna know you're there. And relying on the Google algorithm is the last thing you should do because it else you'll be freaking old, bald, and a lot of gray hairs all over your body. You definitely don't wanna wait for that. So on that one year anniversary video when I was promoting it, I think that's the only reason why I even got this comment. Bro goes crazy. You're gonna be big someday, bro. Don't forget me. Remember, no, it says, remember me. I saw that and I, I, I felt really good. That was another really nice comment that somebody left me. Uh, that was really nice because that video, I did put a lot of effort into it, but it, I think if I were to edit that video now, a year later, it probably would have taken me twice as long because of all the detail I try to add to it. So when I saw that guy write that, that comment, I was so happy, you know. I wrote to him, thank you so much, you know, like you guys could actually go and see that comment. I wrote back to him saying, oh, I thank you. I will never forget where I started and never forget, you know, people like him that kind of reminded me to keep going. This one here is coming from my butt tattoo video. So if you guys go back, very, very back, I think I, I think this was like, my, I think this was comes back to my original coffee video, I think. Um, I don't remember which one it was. I had a conversation with my buddy Ed, and I told him that when I hit a thousand subscribers, I was gonna tattoo my YouTube logo on my butt cheek. In that video, you guys are gonna see that I said it, and that means he held me to it. This guy told this guy at work that when I hit a thousand subscribers, that I'm going to tattoo my logo on one of my butt cheeks. Uh, be you careful what you wish for, be careful what you promise on your videos, because you're gonna have to eventually to do it but somebody out there will remember it and let me tell you it was painful man oh man it was painful it was funny but it was painful oh, now, this is like the butt tattoo I finally did it I went out and got the tattoo on my butt cheek my buddy Ed wrote that's awesome but with the two T's you're you're crazy and then my second comment underneath was a recent comment somebody wrote lol WTF I mean I guess people do that all the time I didn't even know my brother told me that and I'm like really I, I didn't even know that my other video that I did it was my vacuum video because I was looking for this black and Decker cordless vacuum it's uh, it's kind of like a uh, an affordable version of a replica of a Tyson va a vacuum Dyson Dyson you, the cover of the video alone looks like someone just wants to punch me in the face so understandably somebody wrote you're weird because I, I I was like completing my collection you know my set of all my black and Decker 20 volts and this one video this one comment I don't remember because it came off of my Instagram but it, I didn't feel like certain sorting through the video and I know it was it was a clip the full link to the full video the link to the full video was in the description of my Instagram and somebody wrote to me they must have watched they must have clicked in and watched the full video somebody wrote you definitely pay for views why would I pay for views how would that how would that benefit my channel you know what I mean and why would anybody pay for views I mean I see videos with a million and a half views and the video is absolutely 
absolutely shit. Uh, this one comes from my tool haul. I think this was the video I did where I was showing the tools that I use 50% of every single project that I do. Uh, somebody wrote, hate your face. Okay, I, I already blocked that person. I found this in my email because I wouldn't be able to see that. This was one of my first videos. So yeah, so that one was just hate your face. But when they spelt it, they spelt it hat to your face. So it's obviously not a hat on my face. I think they meant to say hate your face. So th this is my favorite right here, right? So if you guys go, like I said, everything I say has to go back. If you go back to one of my video, my first videos, um, I have one there that I was pranking my dad. This one right here. And it starts off with me going for a jog in the morning. Then after I did the jog, I come back and I call my dad and I prank him. Uh, those are those in the beginning of my, my videos are very like all over the place. So in this video, I called my dad and I have the music a little too loud because it, this was before I knew how to adjust the volume. Like so it was leveled all the way through. Uh, so I went and I called my dad and I was going to prank him. So what I did is I called him and I told him that I cheated on my wife uh, that was messing around with a girl at work and she now she's pregnant and she said she's pregnant with twins and I call him up you know and I stop crying I'm like oh I messed up my life you know you guys should check it out downloaded that video and I sent it to my brother and we all we all listened to it because my dad's voice is on it and it's just it's just so nice to hear my dad's voice because you know my dad passed away about a month ago or so and it's just really nice to hear my dad's voice so anyways those are my top 10 favorite comments don't forget to like and subscribe and share my videos if you can so all right, so that's pretty much my two-year anniversary. Let's see what happens next year on my three-year anniversary. All right, so I want to say thank you to everybody for watching my video. Thank you so much for everything. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share. Don't forget to love life and be kind. I am a prodigy. I am a leader. They follow me. I am a prodigy. I am a leader. They follow me.